Hello scrappy friends, welcome back to Nat Scraps. My name is Natalie Pokonik and I am a maker with Close to My Heart. Today what we are working on is layout six in my Christmas story series and uh, you can find out the details of what I've created so far um, in the playlist and also the very first video in this playlist is the things that I included in the kit that I put together for this. Basically it's the scrapbooking kit, some the embellishments and picture my life cards as well as the digital and that's where we're starting today. We're making um, one of the embellishments that is in the digital kit into a very large embellishment for the page. So what I have done, um, as you can see, is I've created the size I want, but I didn't need a whole back down, back in layer to this. So I'm slicing off just the areas of the background that I need, rather than using nearly a whole piece of cardstock to cut the stocking out. I have just cut out the little loop at the top and the little bauble bit that will come down the side. And I will stick the pieces I need onto that and paste it together. On the smaller stockings, it's much nicer to have that. You can then um, layer up the little stocking bit at the top. Um, and I've done that on other pages and you can see them in the playlist as well. I think it was layout three, I think the, the chimney one. Sorry if I've got that wrong, guys. But um, yeah, having that background layer is good, but here I just wanted a couple of little bits. And you can see I'm bringing those couple of bits in now that I've cut as well as the actual stocking. Now these red papers are part of the exclusive papers that we get with the scrapbooking kit. So they're not available just in the paper pack, um, but they are absolutely gorgeous, guys. They are so, so pretty. And um, I just love how you get extra papers and embellishments and things that you can't get anywhere else in these scrapbooking kits. They really do extend what you can do with those papers. I'm now going to go in and blend around these stockings to give them a bit of a dimension around these papers and make them stand out a little bit more. So I've gone in with some black soot distress ink and my blending tool and I'm just going to blend all around that edge and make it nice and um, a bit of round depth to the stocking. It's always nice to go in with blending on um, your papers. It really does make a difference and make things stand out. You see that I just moved my mat to the side a little bit there. The reason for that is that sometimes when you're blending, you do find little bits of the um foam come off or even little bits of ink as you're blending and it can make a little bit of a mess on your paper. I'm also doing those little baubles that are on the side so I'm going to place one there and blending around these makes it um, those two different circles stand out much more but to help with that as well I'm going to put a bit of foam tape on the back of the second little ball and mount that up a little bit and that adds again another layer that helps those stand out and you can see definitely where one of the balls finishes and one starts. Now I also did take the time to turn that pattern a little bit sideways and that helps as well. Here I am gutting my base page, so my black base and then I'm going to cut down my white base or I already have cut it down sorry to 11 and a half I believe this one is by 11 and a half and I'm going to layer those up now you see I've put tape behind there these I quite often cut this out of my videos but you can see I've put tape and I only um, pull back a little bit on each corner and then when I know I've got it exactly where I want I pull out those tabs and it all stays in place nicely and it's a um, I call them dog ears but it's a really nice easy way to make tabs um, and to layer something down and get it perfectly straight. Here I'm cutting some mats from my photos and I'm going to have three and it, you may have spied right at the start. I kind of had a plan for this. I had the three photos and then the three little embellishment clusters I was going to build around it and I kind of built that plan on design space. Now I do go through and try a couple of other things and um, they all are possibilities of different layouts you guys could use with this one idea and you'll see that as we go along but uh, spoiler alert 
we do end up with this design roughly um, as we go along. I'm going to bring in some of the sticker sheets and pull out a few of those embellishments to start. These beautiful red poinsettias is going to be my starting point and for the base for my three clusters as we go along. So I pulled out the largest one and then I'll pull out the two smaller ones and pop them where I think they should go. If you're new to this channel or haven't seen a lot of my videos, I do follow the pro my process right through. I don't um, sort of pre-plan my layouts too much at all. Sometimes I have no idea where the layout is going to go before I even start. And what you will see is me moving lots of things around, putting them in different places and um, trying out ideas with the embellishments. And I leave all that in so you guys can see how I kind of come up with my pages, how I end up sometimes with an utter mess on my bench. And um, this is me in the raw scrapping. Um, I do try to cut out things that might be really, really boring. Uh, but generally, this is just me. I've gone through a couple of the Picture My Life cards and I found this um, holy jolly and I feel like that's going to work well on the page so I kind of cut that fussy cut that quickly and pop that down I'm looking at a couple of the other picture my life cards and I'm trying to decide if they're going to fit in as well but you know it's about pulling things out at this stage not everything's going to stay on this page that I've got that I pull out but I'm just seeing what is going to work with what there is so many embellishments in the embellishment kit and after this page there is heaps and heaps still left. So I'm really looking forward to continuing this journey. I think I've, I've probably got a, definitely a couple of more layouts to go out of this kit. Um, there's lots of full sheets of paper left and lots of scraps. So if you've seen my other series, I do tend to try to um, get as much as I can out of a um, collection. I've popped the word believe up there and um, I do move that around a few times and see if that will fit. And what else am I doing? Sorry about that little sound. I know something popped up on my computer. I'm not sure what was going on there. Um, as I'm going through that embellishment kit. They're all in a little container off to the side. And this one's um, got an acrylic bit for the back and then all is bright on the top. And I'm going to move that one around as well and see if I like it on the page. But as I said, at this stage, I'm just pulling things out and moving them around. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, I, um, I'm going to put in a little plea that you do hit the subscribe button. I am trying to get my subscription numbers up um, as all of us YouTubers are trying to do I guess um, but I would love your support I'd love if you like the content if you would subscribe and um, help me um, I'm aiming for over 500 um, in next year um, uh, I hope that's doable we've gone plus 340 or something and I know that's just tiny in the YouTube world but to me it's amazing that so many of you do support and those that you have already subscribed thank you so much because I really appreciate it it's so wonderful um, I do really enjoy this process it's time consuming and um, takes a long long time but I really really enjoy it now right at the start of the video I said there was a couple of other options and you've seen that there with these um, going down the side and I think this is beautiful and I reckon this would work really well as um, also um, I did like them when they're on the left side I do like them when they're on the right side but ultimately I go back to the my, my original plan of having them in a triangle around that stocking but um, if you're watching this at home there's nothing stopping you if you like this one the best you might have photos that work in a series that work really well um, going down a page and here is just another option for you guys to build a page and you can see I, I sort of got to this stage and went yeah no, that's not too bad and then wipe and, and go back to the original 
do you guys do this? I'd, I'd love to know what you guys do, whether you build a page and then pull it apart again or um, what your process is or do you just um, stick to um, page maps and pre-made designs? I'd love to know what you do in your scrapbooking um, and at home. Here you see I have just marked out that page and I've marked where my elements are going to go before I use some splatter so that I know where I'm trying to aim my splatter that it's going to be seen. So there's no use putting a whole heap of splatter down and then it's going to be all covered up by your embellishments and here I know roughly where I want that to go. I've come in with the red splatter brush and I'm just splattering small um, spots around with that and then I am going to come in with the gold spray and do that at, um, this is the gold gloss spray sorry and spray a few spots here and there I do make a complete mess, mess of my hands and the paper and everything else when I do that so I had to go off and have a bit of a clean up before I continue building my page now this time I'm going to pop everything together and we are going to attach it this time and find the final spots for each piece. I, there's a couple of other things that I do bring in here. There's this circle bubble in the grey that I use behind the poncetta on the bottom left. I do trial out a few banners up on the top left as well. Um, ultimately that does not happen. And I'm looking for something to go with that poinsettia in, at the top there. And I'm trying to figure out where that will go. And the all is bright as a um, title for the page. And um, on that bottom right one, you did see the points that you moved from where the bubbles were at the top down to the bottom. And that just gave me a little bit more of an uh, elongated triangle there. And also stopped it from clashing with the little bobbly hangy bits from the stocking. And this is just about it guys. I think here we're going to start actually attaching it. Some tiny little sticker embellishments there as well. So I've got Believe, Holly Jolly and some white acrylic stars that you can see I'm adding around the page at the moment. So I, I did um, do a little bit of attaching that I cut out of the footage just so you guys weren't completely bored. And... Um, went on with that because I'm sure you guys don't want to see 10 minutes of, minutes of me adhering things to the page. The poinsettias are on the top and the bottom right hand side are actually um, got foam tape on them so there's a bit of dimension there and then the last thing I'm doing is I'm coming in with the gold um, liquid pearls and I'm popping little dots and if you've seen the rest of the series I've used these throughout the pages in this series if you haven't seen the rest of the series what are you doing go back and get in there and see them um, there's lots more pages with lovely ideas and that's about it guys I'm going to do a close-up here and then this whole page will be completely done Thank you guys once again for tuning in and watching. I really appreciate it. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.